In Meriden, the Muslim community is hoping folks will learn more about Islam. The House of Peace Mosque in Meriden opened their doors to the public. That mosque is the same one that was shot at back in November. The shooter, who pled guilty in the case, was also invited. News 8 Shah Shimlum was there too. He has the story. As we said, love for all, hatred for none. That is the core message of every faith. Inside the House of Peace Mosque in Meriden, a community has gathered to discuss a topic some may consider taboo, religious extremism. If we were to ask certain Muslim leaders nowadays in these groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda and Taliban going on and on, what do you think they would have said? What will take me to heaven, sir? Oh, it's easy. Strap on this bomb and go amongst these citizens who are infidels and blow yourself up. The people here were made up of individuals from diverse walks of life from all over Connecticut. They were members of law enforcement, religious clergy, and politicians. As Americans, one of the great ideals that we stand to uphold is peace and tolerance. There was also this man who sat in the second row. His name is Ted Hakey. If his name doesn't sound familiar, what he's accused of doing likely will. Hakey pled guilty to a federal hate crime for firing his rifle at this very mosque this past November. He'll be sentenced in May. The fact that one, what, what a couple of people do, the acts of terrorists and the, t the terrorist acts that they carry out, um, that gives an impression to everybody that look at that on the media, that you know, this is what Islam is. So I can understand, you know, why he might have done what he did. Wajid Ahmed is a member of the religious community here at the mosque. He tells us he's among those who've forgiven Hakey for his actions. Moreover, he tells us this community felt it wasn't just important to let him sit in their house of worship, but also give him the chance to speak and interact with them too. When, when we met with Ted afterwards, and the emotions that went through when we met him, you know, it was so genuine, right, that, that and, and you know, everybody deserves a second chance. A gesture of coming together that those who came here say they think will have an impact far beyond these walls. And I think that's where we always need to start, is with two people having a conversation and getting to know each other. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.